Come okay, on. Greg Giraldo. Greg used to be a lawyer. That's good. At least he can sue the fucker that told him he was funny enough to be a comedian. Let's hear it from Greg Giraldo. Hey. Giraldo. Hey. Giraldo. All right. Thank you, Bob Jeevy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bob Levy, everybody, huh? How about a fuck? <laughs> Bob, I got a lot of respect for you. Very, very few road hacks can pull off the, the Paulie Walnuts hairdo, but you really are. <laughs> Holy shit. You got no career, but you still blow dry your hair every day. What the, when are you going to stop blow drying your hair, fucking Scott Gayo? It's 2006. <laughs> you have no career, Bob. You make Colin Quinn look like an up-and-comer. <laughs> Colin, I love you, but you're so washed up. Parents now tell their kids to Colin Quinn before supper. Bad taste, bad taste. Since Tough Crowd was canceled, you've been harder to find than Listerine at Gary's house. Oh. You and your twisted sex stories, you've fucked more old ladies than Medicare reform. <laughs> and uh, speaking of old ladies, good to see Jackie the Joke Man here. <laughs> Holy shit. Jackie. Jackie, congratulations on the new show. That's what America's clamoring for, a washed-up hack yelling Polak jokes for an hour. <laughs> and I loved your book, Jackie, How to Fuck Up a Career You Didn't Deserve in the First Place. Oh. Yeah, that was too mean. Thank you, thank you, Geraldo. Oh, you're welcome, Oprah. Oprah. I guess Greg Fitzsimmons is here to make me feel famous. <laughs> Holy shit. I've known Fitzsimmons for 15 years. I barely know who he is. <laughs> and uh, what roast would be complete without Lisa Lampanelli's tired horse shit? <laughs> Good to see you, Lisa. Usually when I'm this close to a fat chick at 7.30 in the morning, it's because I'm coming out of a blackout. <laughs> Lisa sucks so much black cock, her lips are ashy. No, no offense, Rob. By the way, uh, I saw, I saw uh, Robin and Lisa in the green room before having a who's got the biggest sloppiest pussy contest. And uh, they both lost to the rolls in Artie's neck. Artie. Jesus. Fucking Christ, look at yourself. Saying you let yourself go is like saying Gary is not classically handsome. You look worse than your chair smells. <laughs> and how the fuck did you uh, get addicted to heroin? Seriously, you, you can't possibly have the lung capacity to snort. And uh, you sure as fuck couldn't find a vein in that walrus carcass of yours. You, you must have just dumped it on your bed and rolled around in it. And, uh, I'm like fucking Michael J. Fox up here. I'm, sh I'm shaking. It's hard work. And, uh, yeah, Beer League. What the fuck was that? That movie was so dumb, Ebert and Roper gave it two thumbs down syndrome. Thumbs up, actually. Thumbs up. <laughs> and, uh, okay, well, Sal and Richard. Would you two just suck each other's cocks already? Jesus Christ, I've seen more subdued homosexuality at a chorus line cast party. You two fag it up more than Bill McGreevy on crystal meth. Bill McGreevy? <laughs> and uh, now to our guest of honor, Baba Booey. Gary, uh, Baba yeah, Gary. Hey. Gary, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. And uh, the only way Howard would have missed it is if your dead father was lying here. Oh. Uh, too much? I was busy. Well, I have a dead father, too. It's not so bad. <laughs> Gary, uh, Gary was molested as a kid by his male babysitter, and there's no shame in that, but it's embarrassing that you believe the guy when he said if you played with your balls, your teeth would shrink. <laughs> Look at you, that, that oversized midget head, your fat ass, that ridiculous Cro-Magnon mug, and those stumpy limbs. The only thing missing is a helmet and a drool cup. <laughs> Usually when I see someone who looks like you, he's being walked to the playground by his 90-year-old mother. Oh. Gary. Oh. And you know what? I never thought I'd be saying this to someone as hideously misshapen as you, but you really, you're the luckiest fuck alive, seriously. How the fuck did you become successful? You, you, you got to be the one homeowner in Greenwich whose only skills are Mets trivia and flossing with a jump rope. <laughs> And how does your wife break your balls? I'm seriously curious. How can your wife break your balls? With your limited abilities and those ghoulish looks, how could she think you could accomplish any more than you already have? Seriously, next time she bitches at you, you should tell her, look at me, I'm a fuck. it's a fucking miracle I'm not in a cage at a carnival. Suck it. <laughs>
Good advice. <laughs> anyway, uh, Gary, you're, you're a great guy, and uh, obviously we're all busting your balls here today, but I want you to know that, uh, that I really mean all of this. Uh, <laughs> And I, and I also mean this, that, uh, that uh, of all the no-talent hangers-on in radio, you have the most fucked-up face. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot.